Hey guys, so I'm coming to you from the office today and today I want to talk about uh, housing expense and I want to talk about this myth that our parents have put on us that basically when you buy a home you're doing a smart money move. Uh, now buying a home can be a great um, a, a great way for people to save money but uh, for the most part it's actually a, a very costly move. So let me put it in perspective. So CNBC said a couple weeks ago, um, they, they threw out a study uh, basically saying that 70% of uh, millennials that bought a home actually regret buying the home. Uh, whether it's because of cost or it's because not the, it's not the home that they wanted or whether it's because they feel pressured from their parents uh, or by society that this is what successful people do, they buy homes. And I was doing some research of my own and if the average American home is around 200 grand, if you buy just an average home in America, you're actually looking at about 1.5 to 2.2 million dollars in cost. Uh, how did I come up with that number? So that's a, a combination of real costs, like real costs as in like real things that are coming out of your pocket. And it's also a combination of what's called opportunity cost in the financial world. Opportunity cost is very real, um, but people don't see it. Opportunity cost is basically what you could have made had you done a different uh, option. So uh, if we just run the numbers real quick, a $200,000 house will run you in 30 years, uh, 186,000 in interest. 180,000 in taxes, 60,000 in insurance, and roughly about 60,000 in maintenance. If you add all that up, you're looking at about $686,000, which means that right off the bat, in real cost that you can actually see, it's costing you about 686,000, let's say $700,000 uh, to round it off. Not only that, you're also, uh, observing that opportunity cost which you cannot see which is basically let's say that um if the monthly payments after running all those numbers is about 1900 bucks a month that means that um if you were to rent and even if the rent is running you like 1200 a month um that's 700 dollars difference if you were to invest that even if it makes you a seven percent return you're looking at 1.5 million dollars if if you get an even better return if you get a 10 percent return you're actually looking more like 2.2 million dollars that that house is going to cost you the 700,000 in real cost and then the other 1.5 million or 850,000 that could have been invested that you could have in your retirement account and your investment accounts now that being said i completely get it you know a lot of people have told me hey lucio but you know, for me, a home, a house is a home, and and I don't, I don't see it like that. I don't see it um, financially. I don't, I don't see it with those eyes. You know, I see it more like this is a home where I raise my kids, and that's perfectly fine. But um, don't go into it thinking that it's a smart money move. You know, if you're okay with taking that cost, and you're okay with um, this being the ultimate cost, 1.5 million, 2.2 million, um, you can buy whatever you want. But if you have other plans in life. If you want to make smart money decisions and you actually want to build wealth, then when you're young, uh, the best the best thing for you to do is actually to rent so that you can invest the, the, the rest so that all the money that you that you could be saving, it gets invested and it gets compounded so that you know at least for 10 years, that money is working for you. Now, later on in life, when you're in a uh, stronger financial situation, buying a home pay hey, i'm completely for it um but not in a way that will handicap you and that's what tends to happen to most of americans we get handicapped by uh our homes and we don't we don't realize that but if you go and you go to college and you get two hundred thousand dollars in student loans but when you get out those two hundred thousand dollars student loans are not going to make you any money meaning you're not going to be a doctor you're not going to be making 200 300 grand a, a year in income you're going to be just living an average life just the average american making an average income but when you graduate you're going to graduate with two hundred thousand dollars in student loan debt you would say well lucio that's absurd you know why would i spend um 200 grand when i can avoid that cost and i can put that money towards something else that's the exact same thing. It's the exact same concept, right? Why would you uh, handicap yourself with such a ginormous cost? You know, for many of us, a home is actually the biggest, um, the biggest consumable asset that we're buying. 
or, or in many cases it's actually a liability, but you don't you don't see it that way. But it's it's the most expensive thing that we buy. So why would you start off your life by buying that luxury? By buying you know uh, by starting off your 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 life with two hundred thousand dollars worth of debt when you could postpone that? You can build, and then once you build, once you build, whether it's um, it's your investments or whether it's your career, your income, you know, uh, businesses, then you can have those pay for that house cash. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Once again, uh, you know, today I'm coming to you from my office, and uh, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.